in charge of merchandising over pre-workouts, post-workouts, protein powders, protein shakes, and different functional beverages, as well as ready-to-eat snacks and things like that. But like that is such a small component of what healthy lifestyle yeah. means. And so yeah. my overall vision is building trust and bettering lives, trying to figure out how to make it easier for people to live better. And yeah. that incorporates programs, that incorporates nutrition, that incorporates stress management, that incorporates sleep, recovery. There's so many more things besides just supplements. Yeah. And so you guys being pros with programming and having tons of amazing content and a great follower and, and just a good handle on how to do that thought of a you know let's let's, let's try to sense. figure something out this partnership opens up the opportunity and it opens the ability for us to reach a very underserved demographic and really take you know 40 50 60 years combined of experience and and put that into a platform and, and into an education process that meets these people where they're at for a price point that's under ten dollars we're putting out three programs so they're going to be able to take not just the training program but having the, the understanding of nutrition, finding a, a grocery list, how do you take that grocery list and make meals, and then actually build out a system for health and strength in your life. And I believe that we're going to be meeting people where they're at with a price point that they can afford and really be able to impact long-term change here. Welcome to Barbell Shrugged. I'm Anders Marner. That's Doug Larson. Coach Travis Mash is in the house, and that is the director of merchandising for Walmart Global. All the Walmarts you've ever seen in your entire life, right? Performance Nutrition, Matt Musgrave. Welcome to the show, man. This hey, is thanks, man. By far. I've never been so excited to go to a Walmart ever in my entire life. We're at the nicest Walmart I've ever walked into. You're here, man. We've been talking about this for eight months, and... Uh, this is the coolest partnership. I can't believe that we're actually making this thing happen. It was like sharing a barbell. Next thing you know, we're kind of kicking some ideas around, and now yeah, we're going yeah. to the shelves. It was wild. You know, I, I want to get some context into your into your background, but first, like, you, you want to explain just for everyone else that's watching, like, how we got here, like, what what the backstory was with eight months ago? Yeah, huh. I'd actually love for you to kind of tell us what's going on. Yeah, sure. Because you have the new yeah. initiative. I could talk forever. Let's hear what's going on at Walmart yeah, side it. of things. All right, all right. <laughs> So uh, we were, I've, I've been plugged in with a, with, a pro, with a nonprofit organization that works with veterans, helping them acclimate after their term in, time in the service is done and helps them go to a camp, trains them to be personal trainers and helps plug them in with in jobs to use fitness to help, um, help them acclimate the overall goal of reducing veteran suicide. So I'd, I had been plugged in with them through a supplier that I do business with at Walmart, started hearing about that. And I was like, I want to talk a little bit more about fit ops and a little bit less about <laughs> supplements and started yeah. going down that path. Anyways, they have a, they host camps and one of the camps was here in Northwest Arkansas. Sure enough, one time I was going and they were like, Hey, do you know, uh, Anders and Doug are going to be there. And I was like, what, what? Yeah. <laughs> I've been listening to those guys for like eight years. Uh, and so got to lift weights with you yeah. guys. Um, and, and during the course of that, my, one of my goals with Walmart is, you know, we, in charge of merchandising over pre-workouts, post-workouts, protein powders, protein shakes, and different functional beverages, as well as ready-to-eat snacks and things like that. But, like, that is such a small component of what healthy lifestyle yeah. means. And so yeah. my overall vision is building trust and bettering lives, trying to figure out how to make it easier for people to live better. And yeah. that incorporates programs, that incorporates nutrition, that incorporates stress management, that incorporates sleep, recovery. There's so many more things besides just supplements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you guys being pros with programming and having tons of amazing content and a great follower and, and just a good handle on how to do that thought of a, you know, let's, let's, let's try to figure happen. something out. It's mm -hmm. actually really funny because you came up to me at Olympia when we were working um, doing a one-ton yeah. challenge out there. And you were like, what's yeah. up, dude? And I was like, great to meet you. Hey, uh, that guy over there is probably the one you want to talk to because I don't know why Walmart would want to talk to me with the podcast. I don't get it. Here we are. It's like yeah. a year later now after yeah. Mr. Olympia since it's probably not happening this year. I, mm -hmm. 
I think um, it's the coolest uh, thing. By the way, you, you're, watching, you're watching the show for eight years, so presumably you have a, a good training background as well. You've been mm. across for a long time, weightlifting for a long time. I remember we did the one-ton challenge at FitOps back in February, and, and you fucking smashed. You did really, really well. <laughs> yeah. dude. I, I was really impressed. Like yeah. He's a good lifter, a really yeah. good lifter. Oh, are Thanks, you? Yeah. What are your yeah. numbers? Uh, that's a great question. I haven't lifted in a little while since then. Probably he's been doing Imam aesthetics now. Yeah, oh, that's uh, right. He looks it too. He's looking jacked. I'm trying <laughs> yeah. to. All uh, right. Two twenty five is my is my snatch. You snatched two twenty that day. I snatched two twenty that day. Didn't quite hit two twenty five. Right. Um, jerk is always a, a kicker for me. But, Just clean. Uh, but that's all that I, I like to clean. I think t- like two eighty five. Not a lot. That's good. Back, yeah. back well, squat three three forty five is the highest I've hit back squat. So good. not huge weight. And then deadlift. I've never really quite mastered the deadlift, so I've only yeah. ever deadlifted. Three we'll work on this. Yep. We'll work on this yeah. later. We've got a whole right. week. Yeah. All this stuff. But I've been working. I start, so my, my whole journey, and this is actually part of why I'm so passionate about, I never thought I'd be with Walmart doing stuff with fitness and wellness. Um, I'd ne- I didn't have any training experience growing up. Like I, yeah. I played mm. I played baseball just for fun. Like my dad was always like, as soon as it's not fun, I and mean, he did an amazing job. He was like, as soon as it's not fun, don't do it. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to get burned out. I want sports and That's cool. activity to be fun for you and enjoyable. And it was like, it was a blast, but I never went to a gym. I was intimidated by weights, like all the way through college. My wife and I got married after college and somebody at my office was like, Hey, I started this thing called CrossFit. <laughs> and I was like, peace. No yeah, way. I don't, no don't want to do it. Anyways, he kept talking to me, kept talking to me, kept talking to me. I, I ended up showing up there and that was the first time I ever yeah. lifted. Uh, and that was, that was all. Was it love at first sight or did it take you a couple times? So my wife is a competitive, she's really good at track. She runs 300 meter hurdles, four by four. She was just mm, had, had that, that, that switch where you can just wow. suffer. And so um, my motivation happened because she kicked my butt forever. And I was like, I just want to be a little bit, I want to beat her in a workout. Yeah. So that was, that was, that was what it was. Did you me. beat her? Um, have you beat her? I have now. Okay. <laughs> it, <laughs> it took, took a while. probably yeah. two years <laughs> before good. I could beat her. Awesome. Dude, hurdles like, amaze me. Like. With I guess just short legs and terrible hips, and I'm just like I couldn't get. I'd have to like like two leg jump over or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, of all the things that you could, of all the departments you could work in, though, how does mm. how do you even get into Walmart to be? I mean, you really are one of the most important people, kind of in the strength and conditioning field, to be able to direct traffic mm. to quality supplements and products. How do you even decide that that's the angle, and and where do you start to even no break kidding. into this? Yeah. I was working for suppliers to Walmart. So I was at, at Chobani, Greek yogurt company mm-hmm. before this. And because I'd been in CrossFit gyms and building out my home garage, having some buddies over to lift, like there was just people in the Walmart community that I knew when this job opened up, the previous job that I had, which was the buyer over performance, nutrition, weight management. Um, he was like, Hey, I don't know that you're really that qualified, but I know you care an awful lot about this. Yeah. Would you consider applying for this. So I, 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 my original goal was not to do that role, but when I heard about that and the funny thing was three weeks before I had that meeting at Onyx coffee in downtown Bentonville, I was sitting there and I told my wife, I was like, I don't really want to move to one of these cities with a headquarter job with some of these other companies that I was doing. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I wish I could touch yeah, pro, like supplements within Walmart. And three weeks later, I'm sitting in a coffee shop having a conversation. about Yeah. It. On top of that though, you've wow. seen every single pitch from every single supplement company that's ever existed. Like their goal is to get in here to mm-hmm. be able to have the the reach that you guys have. How do you actually choose who makes mm-hmm. it, who gets cut? What is that process? Yeah, good question. Um, it's an interesting it's an interesting industry because Walmart in in this category isn't really doesn't have a great reputation with a lot of customers for having quality stuff. And so a lot of these brands have traditionally been really hesitant to want to talk with me. Yeah. Like I'm actually the one reaching out saying Hey, would you like to have a conversation? Like no, no expectations. I just want to see if our strategies could align. We could give you the ability to give your brand more access to more, more people than what you have today yeah. in the mm-hmm. channels that you can do, whether it's e-com, whether it's in certain retailers, whether it's in specialty, naturally wholesale, all those types of things. Um, so it's actually been a little bit reverse of probably what most yeah. merchants experience where normally they're like, there's a floodgate of people wanting to come And this time. Like when I first started, it was more going out and saying, I know that brand's Credible, credible has a big following. I know that brand does a really good job on social media and trying to go and build relationships with them yeah. to start building building trust and, and so, starting. So that. like a very conscious push toward higher quality stuff. I mean, we're, we're in the Walmart health yeah. area right now, which is a brand new thing. I, I imagine that that's a part of like trying to push uh, high quality yeah. health and, and information uh, advice, et cetera, for I'm assuming it's, it's Walmart. I'm, I'm assuming a, an affordable price point for um, everyone hopefully eventually worldwide yeah that's the goal yeah and i think i think 
the you know Walmart's whole model save money and live better there's not a lot of flash in what we do but hopefully we bring a lot of efficiency and a lot of scale and then also in like healthcare with Walmart health a lot of transparency to pricing yeah. of what stuff is really worth and and how you can pay cash for things that you never thought you'd be able to pay cash for I know yeah. that to me being from a rural part of North Carolina like hearing all this is, makes me super excited just because mm -hmm. it affects my family like like I come from a family there's only two of us and the entire there's, there's a big family only two of us have gone to college so the rest of us grew up there got jobs there and lived there and you know Walmart is Man, it's pre pretty much like the center of the community where I'm from. In yeah. And so, like, to think that my some of my family will be able to go there and potentially get introduced to, to health and wellness is exciting because, yeah. you know, we, you know, because it's not right now, like, cancers, it, it's mm -hmm. in Western North Carolina where I'm from, the cancer rate is higher than anywhere else. And, and pretty much all of at least the last I checked was one of the highest cancer rates in all of America, not to mention obesity is just, yeah. like, runs rampant so it 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 warms my heart to think that that you know yeah. that walmart who is like you know pretty much runs all rural communities are doing something to make it a little bit yeah. healthier so yeah and we're in here right now which is like the the wellness clinic walmart clinic what is this big push that you guys are making in the healthcare industry is this kind of like are we in the beta test right now that's getting kind of spread around the country yeah this is this is a beta test i think they've got eight-ish sites and and looking to see how, what's what's productive what's sustainable what costs the right amount what's the right locations what types of geographical area, areas demographics those types of things to, to plug into next but but this is this is definitely one of the strategies yeah. um, obviously that's not the organization that i reside in so i'm not really privy to a lot of that stuff but i've been out and, and visited a lot of these sites and to your point travis like the feedback when you when you even just go to the airport and they you see the walmart badge and and they're just like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yes. Like this, when it's, when it's six o'clock and my kid spikes a fever and I can't take him to the doctor's office, I can go to the Walmart health clinic and be in and out within 30 minutes with an antibiotic for the, for this thing and get it before it even yeah. kicks yeah, I mean, in or, mm -hmm. or just treatment or care, like so many different things, audiologists, like eye exams. And, and then you're connected right to the optical or you're connected out to the aisle. So the connected side of this is pretty powerful so the, there's the medical side of it but then sure. there's also the wellness side of it we got yep. we got our boy randy over there he's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's hooking people up with with programs fitness programs um and you're doing consultations and things like that working with people so there's there's a personal touch to it where you can go in and and not just see a doctor and, and if you're sick get hopefully to normal mm -hmm. you can go talk to someone more like being at a gym where you're going from normal to hopefully beyond normal that's to right. as best as you can be that's right yeah, that's that would be that's my that's my passion behind it too. Is is the wellness side? Like, let's let's change the prevention curve altogether yeah. Yeah. with some of these things and give access to people who have traditionally. I mean, I feel I feel like that was that was me before I was introduced to CrossFit, and that right. that on ramp is not the same for a lot of people. Yeah. And Do you have a strategy to take it from like uh, a clinic, more like mm -hmm. it looks now, to like to more prevent you know prevention? and just getting healthy is is that a goal or like how do you guys plan on implementing this yeah that's a great that's a right now the fir the first focus was definitely more on the health side right. and again like this is this is a totally different team than me right. so yeah. this right. is so they they had they focused on that first cuz i think that's the that's the way that they were going to be able to make it sustainable and right. and pay for itself as, as quickly as they could um, but for me on the merchandise side, like, especially now that we have, uh, it recently with a re restructure, we're buying for the s website as well as for the stores, right. trying to connect all those service elements. When I think about downloadable programs or yeah. when I think about nutrition advice, yeah. when I think about, Hey, over in the store, all the weightlifting stuff is all separate from the supplements, but on the site, it's just can be a, a click, yeah. like a it, click can, away. it can, it can be right away. So how do we take that virtual environment and start pulling together wellness packages, bundles, yeah. education, I was content. You, yeah. you say the word education and I instantly think if somebody walks over to that aisle, how do they know the difference between, you know, Performix and some other brand? Mm -hmm. How do they know what's quality? How do they, how do they decide? And that's a really steep learning curve for so many people when they turn it around and there's a bunch of stuff. Yep. Nobody, nobody really knows yep what a good protein looks like. Yep. I don't even know. I just go for the lowest number of ingredients. How does, is there like a, a rollout plan or some sort of strategy for mm. getting content into stores and, and educating people so they actually know what they're, they're getting into? Well, Randy's, Randy's crushing that for the fit up side here on this site, right? Like imagine have, building trust with somebody who looks part is sharp, is offering you way more yeah. value than what they're asking for you. Telling story, telling you stories, 
helping you see the path forward and then able to go and navigate that shelf for you. Yeah. Like that right there is, is a huge, yes. I mean that it would just be amazing. Obviously that's a very slow approach. The plan, as far as I'm concerned on the merchandising side from site and store is try to partner with brands who are interested in investing in that kind of stuff yeah. and saying, let's elevate our expectations. Let's, let's elevate the content. Let's invest in the marketing. Uh. Hey, cause, cause right now, like we've got all these tactics, but there's only so much that Walmart could do in the sports nutrition space. You need credible voices, yep. people who have credibility, who know what they're doing that can cam come and say, Hey, Walmart's got real things. Let me help you navigate this for you, whether it's on brands, on supplements, or whether it's helping to figure out how do we get like one, one of the things that I've, we, uh, we've talked about is building out on the grocery side, the ability to get a custom meal plan, then it auto populates to your grocery cart, checks out, oh and then gosh. and then you How can come and that? pick it up. Or we, yeah. we've got grocery delivery; it's literally it's delivered to your house. Hits whatever your goals are, whether whether you're shooting for macros, whether you're shooting for keto, whether you're shooting for low carb or high performance, or what whatever True. those types of things are. You guys are talking about slowly integrating health into the into the lives of that's right everybody. That's right. I mean, that's, that's right. I didn't even know we were coming down here for something that crazy. <laughs> that's, right. that's amazing. That's the, that's the goal. Is, the, is is this your brainchild or like who? who <laughs> Who thought to do this? No, I think that's why he's on the microphone. I'm that's serious. why we, we yeah. found so you're you're the guy. I have a ton of passion for that, but this is this is within Walmart. There's a ton of people who are passionate about this, like, and they come from not just merchandising. You've, we've got people in the whole health and wellness organization. We've got people who are just from from e-commerce. Yeah. We've got people in accounts payable and receive. Like, I get people coming and talking to me all the time about what we can be doing with all these fresh ideas. I'm just like a collection spot, trying to collect yeah. these things and figure out, okay. What's the next hurdle that we can go jump over? All right, where, yeah. well, uh, well, like take on all these things and just kind of try to keep it, keep yeah. the guardrails on, so we can. Where start in the forward. chain does that kind of that messaging come from? Because to get to Barbell Shrug to being on the shelves and programming, there has to be somebody at the top that's saying we're mm. redoing all this. I mean, we've all seen like people yeah. of Walmart, and it creates this bad stigma of the people that are showing up, and it's. In all honesty, it's just not their fault. They just don't have the education. Everybody wants to be healthy. Nobody wants to feel like mm -hmm. crap. So where do they where where does it do they draw the line and say, hey, no more? Now we're we're really focusing on health and and wellness. Mm -hmm. I think in the I think it's just becoming more and more clear that there's a need in the market yeah. for, for this. And you know anything starts with a business idea in terms of what's what's the dollar yeah. value that you can assign to it, yeah. and then all of a sudden you start realizing like, oh, this is way bigger than a dollar opportunity. Yeah, like this is way bigger than that. And I think honestly, we've got really amazing leadership within Walmart. Yeah, like, even up to, up to Doug, the the CEO of the whole company, they they care about this. Stuff. Yeah, like this isn't just an accidental grassroots thing. Like they're making, and this this even is the the Walton family. They're making they're making statements about we can make, we can do better in terms yeah. of health. We can do better in terms of wellness. And it is a huge organization. So turning the Titanic takes yeah, a long time, uh, but <laughs> turning the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I so you might hit a little iceberg here and there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just don't hit that big one. Yeah. 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 Well, I also think over the last like 10 or 20 years, just strength conditioning, fitness, wellness, all those things have just pushed so much more into the mainstream than, than they used to be. Like bodybuilding kind of started with Arnold and he pushed that into mm. the mainstream and then CrossFit came yeah, around sure. and now it's like that much more into the mainstream. Like you're working at Walmart and you're doing CrossFit and so you're passionate about it. But like that probably goes across the board for like for so many people that are already working here all the way up to, to the executive level. Yep. Like they actually train and lift weights. Like 30 years ago, you wouldn't go to the CEO of, a, of a, one of the biggest companies in the world and be like, you front squat today? He'd be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, of course I didn't front squat today. But but now you might do that for some yep. some some select percentage of yeah. of any level uh, of the organization. So uh, there's that we see that obesity and, and whatever else is, is uh, getting worse and worse and worse in America. Mm -hmm. Health is on the decline. But actually, for the for wealthy people and for people that, that have mm -hmm. the means to, yeah. to take the time to take care of their bodies, I think it's on the rise. And so it's kind of going two different directions like um, some people are getting healthier and healthier and healthier and other people are getting worse and worse and worse and now because it's so mainstream people are like okay let's let's infuse this into you know businesses that you may not expect to have health infused into this I, is what they need and you said it the other day when you st we start talking about it and you start tearing up that like crossfit has done a great job he did cry he, he, he saw me how crossfit brought you know health and wellness but it's to a select group of people. Like you still have to be able to afford mm -hmm. $120 per person, $150 a person 
every month. But like that's still a huge part of the population that goes unserved. Mm -hmm. And like this is like that next step. You know, like yes, CrossFit made health and wellness a little bit more, you know, out there for the public. But this is talking about bridging the complete gap. Mm -hmm. It's taking those people, bringing it with the masses, mm -hmm. and now everybody is starts to understand fitness. And that's that it reminds me of like right now in the fitness and well, I agree with you. Like there's, it's a huge trend and it's mainly accessible to people who are wealthy, who can afford it. Yeah. And there's a lot of brands with a lot of amazing technologies that are targeted towards that group because it makes a lot of money. Yeah, it's got right. And not that that's bad. Like I don't really don't want to, I mean, I work yeah. for Walmart. <laughs> for Walmart. I, my job is to yeah. literally deliver a profit and loss statement for the company. So I understand running, running that business, but my goal is to partner with, brands who want to say, Hey, let's shift that curve. Let's take those technologies. Let's distill them down. Let's make them easily accessible and start right. delivering them to literally hundreds of times more people than have access to them today. Yeah. When you look at the culture inside Walmart though, I mean, I feel like we're coming out of this. Maybe I hope we're coming out of it. We're, we, we got on an airplane today, so we're coming out of it a little bit, yeah. but we just went through this like global pandemic scary everyone's sick and mm. it turns out that these like comorbidities turn into this problem that when we start layering sickness on sickness and then wham we get hit with this big thing and it shuts the entire economy down are we really at a place right now where companies like walmart have to dig in and say we have to move forward this way whether it's the most profitable way or is you know i feel like we are in a place right now where all eyes are on us and that it's our responsibility to be moving the conversation to more people that don't have access to it. Mm -hmm. Is there a real conversation in meetings and things that you're having where it's, there's a real personal responsibility where people looking in at themselves and saying, it's on us now. We have to be better about what we're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. I think, I think we are all realizing that going back to normal, whatever that means is not going back to pre yeah. pandemic. Like normal will forever be different. Yeah. People's work life balance and work locations and travel, like it's it's gonna be different for a long time. We don't know what that means. But but there's a lot of responsibility um at, at the Walmart leadership level that says, Hey, we know that transportation and ingredient sourcing and delays from overseas and different things are creating really significant profit pressures on yeah. our business, but we have to keep things the same for our customers. We have to build trust with our customers. We are too accessible and, and have too broad reaching of an impact to be able to just pass this on. People need, people need better access and, and we can't be the ones to shift on them as much. So there's, there's a lot of pressure to, um, what should say? Um, on the medical side, is there, is there any innovation going on as far as like going to see the doctors, like going to any other doctor's office, like the way the way that you, um, mm. the way that you schedule appointments and the way that you deal with insurance and whatever whatever going to the doctor is like, is it the exact same here, or has there been any any radical shifts or improvements or advancements That's in how you deal with customers? Do yeah. you know that? I uh, I've only been to the clinic as an observer. I've never really seen the inner workings of it, but I I know the the customer journey. As they come in, they basically have a person at, at the front that they can talk about what why they're there, and they can just point them. I mean, so I mean, like imagine just having a, one person that you go talk to and said, "This is what I'm experiencing." Kind of regardless of what that is, they'll point you in the right direction. Yeah. So, um, it it's hopefully a streamlined communication where yeah. you don't have to go point to try to figure out the right person and oh, let's see this person first and then this person, this person. Yeah. So I think they're trying to simplify, pull more things into one house so that you can just come and expect you're going to talk to one person. You'll get it taken care of. You know, what's mm -hmm. totally surprising is I on the wall out here, which I know that the clinic's not your thing, but like, here's what really surprised me about where Walmart is going. There's an Ivy league doctor out there. There's a girl who graduated from med school from the university of Pennsylvania is working in the clinic in Walmart. Yeah. I'm like, what in the world is like Walmart? It, it would have that gave me the impression that things are really shifting mm. inside of Walmart. That's not what I expected. I expected like University of Arkansas, you know, or this is what I was thinking. Where I did not think you would have Ivy League doctors in this clinic yeah. in Walmart. So yeah. like, there must be a shift happening. There's a huge investment in it. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, and I would say this. You know, this has been my. This was not my impression before I worked at Walmart, but it's become my impression now that if Walmart's going to make a yeah. statement and go and invest and do something, they're going to do it the right way. I see that. Yeah. 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 Do you have, I mean, you have probably one of the smartest training brains in the world because you've been listening to Barbell Shrug so long. Right. Um, <laughs> it's all second, you second, second hand. I wanna, yeah. 
I, you're definitely intelligent for sure. We, you're hireable. Shouldn't I look you're more? You're hireable in the supplement section for sure. Uh, when you, when you walked in, so anytime I've ever walked into any store and I see the fitness products on there, it's like hand in the face, and I'm just like, why? Why is this product here? Mm. This is serving nobody, and. Mm. That transition, though, because some of those products and those DVDs from back in the day where people are, like, air kicking in their living room, that stuff, it sells and has sold in the past. What, I guess, kind of in your brain, what is the real benefit of bringing somebody like Barbell Shrug that's, like, mm. a pure, like, a real strength and conditioning company in? And I would like to say that we're bringing real strength training to a people that have maybe never even seen it. Thank yeah. God. But anyway, yeah. That's right. This is... Uh, 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 it's kind of scary, to be it, honest with you. That's right. <laughs> like, that's right. Well, think about any of awesome this. Awesome scary. Health tech, yeah. whether it's like sleeping mats or ra- lasers or infrared saunas or all that kind of stuff. Like, that's not selling at Walmart today. But that doesn't mean that the technology, that the education, that the results of that yeah. aren't, aren't legitimate. So I think I think to that point, instead of... Um, I think it's worth partnering with with people who are extremely credible and extremely knowledgeable and figuring out, okay, let's do the hard work. Cause obviously this doesn't exist today. Let's do the yeah. hard work of figuring out what we need to do to make this accessible, Yeah. to, to make, to figure out the model to get this to be accessible. Right. We're not there with certain technologies and certain things like that, but training has been around yeah. for a long time. And there's a ton of perspectives on what that means <laughs> and what right. you should be doing, yeah. what you can be doing. But I think even back to like when I was in middle school and I was, you know, doing the, those spinning air kicks and yeah. videos with my mom in my yeah. house. That, that's like, and like that was yeah. the beginning of a journey, right? Like that was a totally. beginning of caring about something. It was a step that was better than not doing. Yeah. That. So a lot of these have created on ramps and sometimes yeah. you get frustrated with the results if they're not quality, but then it's you, a gateway drug. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, here we go. I think about that with, yeah. a, with a, like with the scope <laughs> of sp- supplements that I offer in the, in the categories that, that I do have, uh, you know, s- say over like, We've got we've got to have an on ramp. You've got to make something accessible, and you, it's a choice. It's a, it's a step better than what they would have made. You have to give them a reason to do that. Whether that's a price point, whether that's an influencer and somebody that they believe in that they want to be like. There's some level of aspiration. Anybody walking down that aisle out there, they want to change something about themselves. Yeah. They're not they're not accidentally stumbling down that aisle and saying, you know what, I, that seems like an interesting product. Like it's no. in you're yeah. in the protein aisle, you're in the weight loss aisle. Like you're wanting to yeah. make some type of change, and there's a deeper story behind that. Yeah, we've talked a little bit about the actual customer and client makeup of who's in those aisles. And I went and sat there for three, four hours one day just to watch people. And I mean, I'd never sat and watched people's buying patterns. And it's actually it was like two days before the country shut down, which was probably not the best time to be sitting in Walmart like hey guys what's up I'm just gonna sit here um but I guess <laughs> if you were to kind of categorize and like put your your client like where are they in in their fitness journey if they mm-hmm. want to get better at something where where are they coming from to actually be able to find barbell shrug products on on the shelves yeah the so I think think about this this fact um Walmart within the sports and performance nutrition space we like we only convert 25% of customers, roughly. I don't know if I can actually share this information. But well, if we can't, we'll edit it oh, out. <laughs> he said 25%. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that means that 75% of the people who are, are already Walmart customers and buy sports nutrition, performance nutrition somewhere, anywhere, don't buy it at Walmart at all. So you have to think about a lot of these people are probably – have a training background. Yeah. They do care, but they're not even coming into Walmart. So we've got that pool of people to convert. People who are who are bought in and who want to who want to per- purchase something better and want to help elevate themselves in in supplement and nutrition and wellness and then now hopefully yeah. programming. Um but then you've also got the people who aren't even introduced to this space. And I think that's the broader pool of yeah. of people. Sure. And that's that's the people that don't pur- purchase the category at all, have no idea where to start, need somebody to help them navigate the set. Um, there, so for me, where, where that most likely hits is, you know, um, we, we know that obesity continues to rise. It's over 40%. Di- diabetes continues That's to crazy. be a bigger and a big, bigger concern. And there's, there's yeah. a lot of things that not saying that these, that fitness and that exercise and nutrition can single handedly just do some of those things. A lot of that is pre-existing conditions that you, that have, are, have a hard time doing something about, but we do know. 
There's a big chunk. There's yeah. a big chunk. It's well, gonna. It's going to make big. things. It's gonna make things. Well, talking yeah. about what Travis does, Walmart see itself as the center of communities. I mean, Absolutely. I. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm yeah. from the suburbs, yeah. and when Walmart like pops up, all of a sudden, like fifty thousand houses mm-hmm. grow around it mm-hmm. magically. Mm-hmm. Do they know that they are? I mean, they have to realize that they are the center of communities, and kind of whatever they are, whatever decisions they make influences right. fifty thousand houses times four to five people. Like it's, it's an insane number of, you know, people that they are going to meet on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why. I'm just curious. You know, so the you said that seventy-five um, percent of the people who go there don't buy Mm -hmm. i wonder if it's just like a trend i'll use myself as an example Mm -hmm. like i recently started buying my pre-workout i'm i've got a problem with (laughs) pre-workout but like i've heard about it yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) so so i he listens to it 6 30 in the morning when you're i saw you crushing some uh, box squats oh yeah (laughs) eight reps of box squats yeah Yeah. about kill me (laughs) but i'm still sore (laughs) but so like i go there and it took me a while because i would see like um i'm not even gonna mention any brands but there's a certain brand i like Mm-hmm. And I, I've seen it there, and it took me a little bit before I'm like, it's just the same. It's the same. Mm-hmm. I had to, like, mm-hmm. talk myself into saying it's the exact same as that I go to some vitamin store. So I just now started buying, but it took me a minute before I, like, trusted it's yeah. just the same. Well, now you know the guy. Yeah. yeah. But, but like, think about yeah. that. He, imagine how educated he is yeah. in that. And that level of doubt that was still in there yeah. at that level, like – Mm-hmm. We got we got some stuff that we got to overcome. Like we got yeah. we need people who are going to invest and tell stories, and help help. That's what I was going to expand get to, yeah. this reach. And yeah, absolutely. When I go to like a typical say like a typical vitamin store, whatever, sure. you know, I go there and there's normally somebody, and then I'll ask them, you know, my, this is sad. What's the best pre workout? Is I mean I'm going to say what's the strongest <laughs> is what I'm going to ask. <laughs> and so, but like yeah, there's just you no know, one to ask, and so it's hard to buy. You know. But then I just started like just mm-hmm. doing my own studies, and then I started buying, you know, recently from Walmart. Especially since all of this, yeah, I'm like I'm going to be a patron, you know. So, but way to go, yeah. But hey, yeah, how do we convert that a little faster? Like, so there's like probably a year went by mm-hmm. that I would go with my wife to Walmart and our kids, and I would look and see, oh, there's my pre workout, but is it? Mm-hmm. So like, how do we do it quicker? Well, I guess one, one question I have, is it is it what you really want? Huh? Did, did we fulfill your need? Or, um, or do you still want something slightly, like, you know, like, no, I think one of those, biggest, what I want. those biggest, re- those no. biggest parts are real relationships that say like, Hey, I don't want to have the less than version. Yeah. Like, I don't want to have the step down. Like what it was it that you're really going for. I want to figure out. You finally did to, get the, what, yeah. I, what right. I like. Right. And so actually you have it here too. I saw it. <laughs> 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 but like, so yeah. So, and so that's, and it's a better price point, mm. but like, and it's another thing. Like I knew it was a better price point, but it took me a minute mm-hmm. before I finally, mm-hmm pulled the trigger Mm -hmm. but now i pull the trigger a lot too much but yeah yeah it's almost like a cultural thing in in the commercial and the way that the marketing happens at walmart it starting with this beta clinic that we're in right now and our boy randy actually talking to people and having real relationships Mm -hmm. but what is has there been a a marketing push in in what's going out i mean like the everyday low prices if that's the main messaging that's going out Mm -hmm. but if they're going after this like live better approach, mm-hmm. have they started pushing that in in the marketing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, yes, and Walmart also uh, doesn't like to do stuff as as much. Like something like this isn't going to be a nationwide PR. Yeah. To say, hey, we're in Dallas, Georgia. We're in Elm Springs, Arkansas. Look at what we're doing. It's like let's let let's let the results speak for themselves in that area, and yeah. and let's let those people like let's serve those customers that are really there yeah. rather than aspirationally serving everybody telling everybody how we're serving we're actually just going to go into it i think i yeah. th- you th- i mean That's there's just saying, there's yeah. too many examples of the natural disaster stuff that Walmart does. That yeah. has, there's a whole emergency operations center that's yeah. got a protocol for flipping the switch and just knowing how to get trucks to places to deliver stuff when there's uh, hurricanes or when there's mm-hmm. wildfires or when there's different things. Like they, we, you don't get credit for that kind of stuff. Yeah. You don't. You don't have to. You just have to know that you're really actually making a difference. That's so huh. cool. I think. Are you seen as the weird one? bringing kind of like this new approach to what you're doing like are you telling people that you're you're bringing training programs to the nutrition the performance nutrition section and they're like what training programs what is that yeah absolutely a ah, little beautiful bit. Uh, but that I, means we're doing it right yeah that's right that means we're doing the right spot well and that there is a little bit of that like in in you know in merchandising it we're all super competitive yeah we're like Who's who's creating something new? Who's really innovating? Who's delivering their financials? Who's you know? Yeah. So there there's like some healthy competition. It's a little yeah. bit like uh, 
like anywhere. Um, but so there's there's some you know it'll be it'll be interesting what happens when we, when we launch it because right you're it is you're a competing with other other departments within Walmart. You mean like you're competing with like sports equipment, yeah. that that type of thing. Sure. What you, what you yeah, mean? and like uh, you know protein is becoming more and more of a of a buzzword, right? So we've got protein shakes, but then there's protein drinks over in grocery and there's protein drinks over in healthy beverage yeah. and the, uh, and like there's protein stuff everywhere uh, because it's just becoming more and more on trend and people are I, looking for it. I saw collagen protein bars in the beauty section yeah. at a store yeah. and I was like, damn, that is genius. Hair and nails. Yeah. Hair, Hair and nails. nails. So it's right. about creating solutions. So then you've got a little bit of this like, well, if you're doing downloadable programs, maybe if I'm over in books, I'm like, well, what could I do? <laughs> you know, like right. well, yeah. you're always like keeping your eyes out, yeah. trying to figure out like what you could kind of steal shamelessly and reapply to your business and, and try to figure out like, well, you know, cause Walmart uh, also in the store, think about how big it is. Yeah. Like it's it, how, do, how do we help people navigate sets and not have to go literally the whole entire thing to try to figure out to get what they want to get. So you, every merchant's incentivized to try to figure out like, what all can I deliver to this customer yeah. while they're in my aisle? Sometimes you cross some borders, right? Like you don't need to have, <laughs> this is you don't need to have I just never in thought of any of this. 15 yeah. locations in the store. You don't need to have a protein shake in 15 locations in the store. You probably only need to have it in yeah. a few. This is how all the conversations have been for the last eight months. It's just like, I just I sit down be. and learn because <laughs> <What laughs> I, I know nothing. So these <laughs> now I know a lot, but I still the don't departments. know that much. Yeah. Um, I'm actually interested when you see things that are on the shelves now and you have this beautiful barbell shrugged education and you look at it and you're like, that's – like what do you do you've got these massive contracts with these companies mm -hmm. and there's you know they're selling something that is just pure trash like there's some supplements that we just know science has said they don't work and some fat burners that just don't work and shakes that are just mm. filled with stuff um sugar yeah when you yeah. when you see that how do you kind of decide what the exit plan is or, hey, people are buying this and this is still a better option than maybe eating ice cream. Where does that line fall for you? Uh, Tough I'll, question. I love this question, actually. Yeah. I, at first, I'm like, huh, I don't know how I'm going to I'm not going to say the no, companies. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. And, and, and you don't have to. The, the cool thing about this is um, you can try to convince something that somebody that something's bad yeah. or you can just show them a better way, right? You can just – give people access and eventually they'll see people who are going for that and they'll see, and then, and then you, you want, if you really, if you want to get better, you want to make a better choice. Oh. You just set up a parallel path, right? Here's the path that's, that we're going on right here. You set up a parallel path, you run them the same and you just kind of let people vote. What's yeah. going to get you the best result. If you really want to make a change, eventually the the best result is going to, is going to pan out. Uh, you don't even have to be the bad guy. Then. That's right. So I like that. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Cause, Cause there's no reason right now. Like you're, I would, it would, it would be, it would be awful for me to go and say, Everybody change your formulations. Everybody like, yeah. and, and everybody doesn't need to change your formulations. Right. I, I don't want to. I don't want to throw in, throw anybody under the under the bus. But everybody's working hard to yeah. figure out how to run their business. And right. that's, that's what it is. Um, but it and would, most of the time, I think when we interviewed John Berardi, mm -hmm. it was something. It was like, what if your nutrition client never gets better, but you're the only person that can have a good conversation with them. You're the only. You're, at least you're still a positive option mm. that they can go to whenever they want. And it's kind of in the same position. Like maybe somebody doesn't change, but at least they have an option mm -hmm. in the future when they want to, that they can go find a good training program mm -hmm. or find some good products. And they might have a, just having that better option over time, sooner or later, they're going to choose yeah. the right path. Yeah. And yeah. I think, I think it's so cool that there's so many platforms right now that people can tell stories on to showcase what that, whether it's on social media, word of mouth, people are spending more time at their house with their family. Like, we've got to figure out how to tell some of those stories of when that better choices r drives a result for them. And, yeah. and do you and go sure. after companies who tell their own stories? You know, like it, it seems mm -hmm. that in today's world that there used to not be that platform. You know, if you're Joe Schmo, like supplement company, you just put your stuff out there and you tried to market the best you could. But now we all have our voices. We, you know, mm -hmm. we have, we have a podcast mm -hmm. and people do, you know, they're really good with videos, but do you purposely go after companies who have their own voice? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that makes total sense. It, it, because that's the trust component. Trust yeah. is your most valued asset uh, with with anyone. And and once that's compromised, it doesn't matter how cheap you sell something. It doesn't yeah. matter how good you are at executing efficiencies and getting the product on the store, how excellent your store at labor hours are, or any of those types of things. If you if you don't have customer trust, you, you miss out on it all the way. I think one thing that I was blown away 
by in the process of this whole thing is really the systems and checks that you guys have along the way. I mean, I had to go take a bunch of training courses. Mm. Trust me, those training courses, I've never been, I haven't been to school in a long time, but I would just sit there and be like, oh my gosh, this is like the most thorough thing from your suppliers to the factories to the, the labor that is used to make those wow. products. Like from top to bottom, obviously a company this size has thought about everything and been through endless, endless uh, scenarios in which they have to protect themselves. But I walked out of this process in, or in order for us to get here to do this thinking like, man, that's like insanely well done and put together mm. to be able to make sure that the factories that people are getting their mm. products from are held to a certain standard, the labor's held to a certain standard. And once it gets to the shelf, like in a way, just having Walmart's name and it being on the shelf has to bring that trust. Mm. That's probably a massive battle for you guys. Mm -hmm. Not just saying I like that company, but levels, you know, I like that company. And then how do we get to the shelf? They got to go through the ringer to get there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one thing that we're, that's an initiative that we're working on a lot is trying to figure out how do we partner with emerging brands and say, Hey, you don't have to be ready for a thousand stores right yeah. out of the game. It's, yeah. That's like three. That's hard. How many, <laughs> three how many cities is hard enough yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And we still got some stuff to go figure out before <laughs> yeah, right. we got four weeks away and we yeah. got, we got to figure some stuff it's out. Good thing we know how to ship things fast. That's right. In this country. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we, yeah. But, uh, but we want to get better at figuring out how to, and, and that's the beauty of online with, with e-commerce, that partnership with e-commerce and stores now happening. Like how do we simplify the onboarding process for emerging brands, great storytellers, people who have trust and say, we don't want to just like to your, well, you said go after, I'm kind of thinking that sounds a little like it's not aggressive. I don't want it to be aggressive like that. Right. I want to say, how do we, how do we allow you to use your platform that you've already built? Right. And, and let Walmart be the way that you can actually probably talk to more people through that. That's I, all well, yeah, it's yeah. about attracting That's right. them. Like That's right. when I sent out uh, all the text messages last week, just to tell everyone in the industry that's got a podcast, like, let's get the word out that this mm -hmm. is happening. And every single person that I wrote to wrote back, what the hell is going on? You're going to Walmart? Like it was never even a remote consideration that we would be going in the retail direction when everyone's fighting for online space. And then the fact that Walmart's actually bringing in like a real strength training company mm -hmm. just seemed off the wall to them. I mean, the number of what the fucks I got back was just insane. Wow. Like every single person, because sure. nobody is expecting Walmart to be bringing in a strength training company that like does what we do. Mm -hmm. They would ex you would expect it to be a, a, a different brand of fitness. Um, that makes me so excited. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it was exciting. I told my mom, my mom like, well, you, you're going to Wal what are you going to do with Walmart? <laughs> yeah. she, I was like, we're going to sell programs. Here. Like, How do you do that? Like, it was baffling her. And These are like, questions that we asked ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. My mom was like, what? How do you sell your <laughs> online programs at mm. Walmart? Uh, same way we do anywhere well, else, I well, guess. Yeah. Yeah. All, the, all the people that, that – would buy something like this, but don't spend their their lives listening to Barbell Shrug podcasts and and watching YouTube videos about how to front squat and training at CrossFit gyms. But mm. they but they do legitimately want like a good training program. They're underserved right now. Totally. They, if they if they don't do the internet thing already and, and they only shop at, at big retailers like Walmart and they they want good training and there's nothing else available, like those people are radically underserved. So I feel like we have like a big opportunity there to to, yes. to sell to a lot of people that have yeah. been looking for something like this, but just haven't, it's just not available to them Duh, for whatever reason. I would have bought it. As a kid, like I yeah. looked for anything that would, I get information. Yep. I can't imagine when I was like 11 and just starting to go to Walmart and be like, for this price, I can get like a mm -hmm. really good, and think about how much, you know, bad stuff it would have kept me away from like you know you go to these these, <laughs> these um, us, magazines and, they, they, and you know if you go to like these muscle mags and, yeah. and even the bodybuilders that are in there they'll tell you it was like, that's not my workout they i just mm -hmm. they took some pictures and they wrote a workout and they put it in there so you don't even know what you're doing in those i remember doing trying to do dorian yates program i did it, the ronnie coleman program that, oh, that was really his program though i'm sure yes sure ronnie coleman's was. arms sure it was <laughs> so, yeah did, when you were done did you have 28 inch Dude, arms or whatever? i texted john yeah. cena inch. john cena was on men's health i want to say three years ago it was like john cena's arm program and i texted him and said i've never seen you do this program ever this He's is like, not your program? arms he goes sometimes i don't have control <laughs> yeah so but <laughs> said can you imagine goes, i yeah. get to choose who i work for in the future too and i was like yes sir imagine being the middle school kid that 
actually you know buys this from walmart for a really good price and now it actually works you start doing it in your basement next thing you know you gain 10 pounds of muscle and your bench goes up Mm -hmm. your squad goes that was the thing that i was most surprised about when we were originally talking about what programs we're going to be putting out and and how we meet people where they're at that it's like 60 percent of your your shoppers are female that's right so that means there's a lot of moms that's right going and buying strength programs for their kids and they don't know what to buy their kid wants to go lift weights. They don't know what they don't know where to go. This is and I can awesome. tell you what they buy, right? I got the data. I know what they, I know what they buy, and I know there's a, a large opportunity to help bundle products. Yeah. To help them figure out what do they buy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Normally, entry level protein, protein, which yeah. is, I mean, is great. Get more protein in your diet. Yeah. Sure. Like especially for yeah. for a kid like middle school football, all that weight, kind of stuff. Blah, 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 gain yeah. some weight, but like. From a programming standpoint, who knows the? That's something that we can't control. What's the quality of strength what conditioning are they at that doing? school? They're going. Is, I tell you what they're doing. They're going to their local gym, and they're at the mercy of whoever's in there coaching mm-hmm. them. Or they're going to their high school, and their high school football coaches t- is teaching them. And no offense, I love high school football coaches. I mean, the guy changed my life, but he didn't know anything about lifting weights. Mm-hmm. Like all he did was form a lot of bad habits. But now they're going to get to get good information from exercise scientists, mm-hmm. people who've done it for thirty plus years, who've lived it. This is going to put kids, light year, kids and adults, light years ahead of. I was going to say, I can't wait to do them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to give them all. Yeah. I'm going to go through all three of them and see what happens. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, man. No, but I think I think as I'm looking at this, right, this is like an exciting launch. But like, if it, if it was just this one launch that I was excited about, I think you know it's it's only so much. But like, there's so much beyond this that I yeah. see in terms of yes. how do how do you how do you integrate departments within Walmart to get equipment and nutrition guidelines and meal plans and all that kind of stuff. These, this is where you, you start to showcase the need, this need state, you showcase that people want to vote for this and you say, all right, well, I didn't think they were going to buy a program while they were shopping for supplements, but I guess they did. Yeah. So now what, how do we bundle this and how do we, and not just bundle for the sake of increasing the basket size, but un- bundle based on increased results. Well, that was mm-hmm. the very first thing that we talked about when we were at FitOps was how do we take the Performix supplements and get a pro or get a program to go along with them? Sure. We weren't even thinking about us being on the shelves. It was like, how do we just partner up and make their product better and be a part of the entire ecosystem? Yeah. And then we kind of grew it out from there. But that really is like, you know, and, and what you guys are building in the clinic, the ability to go and say, yep. hey, we're in the, we're in the aisle. This is a high quality protein. This is going to be taken at this part of the day around your workout. And this is the workout you need to be doing because there's three goal specific programs for you to be able to actually go in and implement. And think about like that, that is a center of the store of the community type of thing. Yeah. You can come in and get those different types of things and the resources that you need. And then it's not to say we replace the health and wellness community outside of the store. Yeah. We're not a gym. Like we're not a personal trainers. We're not a park system like there's still yeah or a football league or all those different types of things so you take those things that you've done and yeah. increased uh, knowledge that you have and then results you have and you are go and able to apply that into the wellness within your community uh, it's, what a great time for i mean there's a need right now big time with all the gyms who have you know shut down and yes some are opening back up mm-hmm. some are gone forever Man, we yeah. all know that yeah. right yeah so right now especially in small communities like this like they need, they need that. I would have gone crazy. We actually two of the programs are equipment yeah. free. Yeah, I, but buy rate only for two of them. Yes, yeah. so awesome. So, but if I'd not had, you know, a gym, I started when I was eleven. I would, I mean, I have a brother who's in prison now. Mm-hmm. If I hadn't had it, I would have been right there with him. But this was my gateway to doing good, and you know, seeing like some, you know, solid ground in my life. And I can't imagine if that had been taken from me like these poor kids nowadays. I mean. Mm-hmm. It would have definitely been a different person. You probably wouldn't want to be hanging out with me. That's for sure. <laughs> so. Yeah, we got we got two of them that are body weight only, which is like more relevant now than ever, since so many yeah. people are are having to train at at their house or just outside. Uh, but then the other piece of it too is like so many people lost their jobs and like their their income is lower than normal right now. Yeah. And with with the reach and scalability, that's the potential at Walmart to be in in many more than the twenty stores we're starting in allows us to keep the price point mm-hmm. to be very inexpensive. Like the the amount of good information the quality of the training program <laughs> for the price is we're basically just giving them away yeah, like i mean it's ten dollars like yeah. it's basically free for what yeah. you get and you, you get th- you get 30 days which really is six weeks because it's five days a week for six weeks for ten dollars wow it'd be yeah. awesome it's it's an unbelievable deal and what you were talking about the ability to it's like week one grocery list 
make these meals. Man. Week two, grocery list, mm-hmm. go make these meals. So they can six just weeks follow it step by step all the way through, and it's just it's laid out. Not yeah. to sound like an infomercial, but dang on, in six weeks you could seriously go from zero to hero in like – you could zero literally, hero. I mean, <laughs> you could go from like I don't know anything to like shopping correctly, cooking correctly. Yeah, I mean, you we know, lay out in, in all of the in all the books um, that people are going to be downloading. It'll be uh, it walks you through basically the the foundations of nutrition, how to eat, what macronutrients, take your body weight, take your goal, figure out how to get there, Dude. and you just punch it into the calculator and it spits it out, and then you just go follow literally just follow along week by week i hope every human sees it not because mm-hmm. i'm you know want our company to, i want obviously want our company to go huge but <laughs> but i mean i want to see the world change like well I, yeah. you sold me i was not sold until you started crying the other morning and then when that happened i'm like yeah whoa we have an opportunity to I change think lives when yeah. well what he's talking about my dad was like sent me the the dad text was don't like, do I just it just want you to know i'm proud of you no i already got it out okay, we're good, good. <laughs> um when he sent that, it was kind of like a, it was like this real realization that w- the amount of people that we get to help. And I think it's really easy in our world, and we focus a lot on strength training. It's like the goal is to add 10 pounds to your mm-hmm. deadlift. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, yeah. Man, after 24 years of training now, Matt's been training for 30 years, Doug's on 25 tra- years. It's like those numbers start to be. They're awesome. You want people to get strong because that's their goal. But how do we how do we make something this platform barbell shrugged? How do we how do we integrate it into the lives of people that need it the most? And man, when you hear that four out of every ten people are obese, mm-hmm. yo, we have a real mm-hmm. problem. Problem. And we have the pandemic just was like the nail in the coffin mm-hmm. for so many people. Yeah. And it's an education problem. It's it's getting people to take action. And having the resources to be able to actually do it. So we have this crazy opportunity to be able to meet people where they're at, where they're shopping, at a price point that's super affordable. And we're literally laying out six weeks. Don't think. Just follow along and and do what's in the book and everything's going to work out. It will get better. Yeah, you do that and you will get better. And like that 40% is such a, it's not even the right, right number because what they what they consider to be obese, I mean, the dude's almost dead by the time that they label mm-hmm. you obese. Like there's there's a big population who's well on their way to that right there that they don't even consider obese yeah. yet. And those people could die just as easily as the people who they're saying is obese. Yeah. I mean, we see it. I mean, I had a death. The only reason my, my poor dad, you know, he's, he's passed away now, he had a heart attack and went, and went to the hospital with this heart attack from eating terrible like everybody does in the mountains then they found then they found cancer but it was it was too late and that was wow. once again his lifestyle all this stuff it has nothing to do with genetics his dad lived to be 97 years old but genetics changed people stopped moving like they used to you know my grandfather would walk everywhere my dad was in the generation of like go do his job come home sit on the couch and eat you know and eat terrible we eat it's good. It's good food. Delicious. Makes you the strongest man in the world. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like, but like, man, we some just, upside. We, there's an upside to that. <laughs> yeah, but, but but like, uh, it didn't work out for my father or yeah. for a lot of people up there That's who right. were dying early. That's you right. Know? So man, you were talking about the way that Jim saved you when you were 11. Like, yeah. those are the, those are the moments that I want to create. Well, I think we can that we can create moment. together. Yeah. That 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 like this this isn't necessarily the people that are listening to this show right yeah. now. But can you? Can you tell somebody about this and yeah. introduce them to something that for 10 bucks yeah, oh, is, is accessible and helps that you can, can legitimately change your life? Yeah, I feel like the kids are the ones that uh, it's – so we used to – when I lived in San Diego, we had this, like, amazing walk that we would go on every day. I had, didn't have kids at the time, so I could just go on a four-mile walk. No big deal. Eh, why not? You got time. <laughs> and you would see all these families out playing, and you could just see – it's like going to the airport. You just see what America looks like. You can just you get a, you get an overview of what everyone looks like, and it's very very unhealthy. And yeah. then you see the parents, and then you see their kids, and you go, "Oh man, like this kid has no chance." I feel like for nine dollars and forty eight cents, you kind of give these families an opportunity to rally around mm-hmm. something, and and give them yeah. just the tools and the resources that need they need to maybe make fitness something that they instill into their families. And that's why I got all fired up the other morning. 
because it just yeah it got me fired the up. opportunity oh, yeah. that we that we can have to just teach fitness to people that just don't have access to it yes mm-hmm. like i was definitely not thinking along those terms until that morning and i started seeing how serious it was that you were taking it and then it, all of a sudden it dawned on me this is a lot bigger than just an opportunity to get our business bigger but it's an opportunity mm-hmm. to, to change lives then it totally took a different turn for me so yeah uh, was it was it your idea for uh, selecting the cities, L.A., Vegas, mm-hmm. San Diego? What uh, those are obviously healthier cities, especially SoCal. Uh, but what was the rationale there? Yeah, so uh, part of it is just uh, we, we, I wanted to simplify the distribution methodology for for you guys because we have you know a whole bunch of DCs that are located all over the country, and I could have picked probably twenty great stores that would have been yeah. all over the place, but then you would have had to ship to. 15 yeah. different DCs and it would have been yeah. super, super complex. So I focused on just trying to narrow down that distribution chain. So there's just one spot that you had to ship yeah. to. So that was, that simplifies that from, from a cost standpoint and efficiency standpoint, and then tried to pick stores that one, we go, we go, we have corporate meetings twice a year where we talk to store managers. Some of these store managers in that area, like when we launched keto or when we right. launch any type of health thing they come up to me and they're like my customers love this we need more and like mm-hmm. they're the people that are emailing me like have you heard this Sick. podcast like you've got people in those stores that are advocates man and they yeah. they want th- they've got they've got knowledge and they've, there's there's an industry there that's already built and there's a lot of on-trend stuff there and so there's customers looking for that uh, but there's also a lot of people that are living in those areas that that, that aren't on that lifestyle yeah journey either and a lot of the stores in those locations it's not like they're just sitting on you know, on the beach yeah. and, and you're by a lot of those people, you're, you're in some different areas in those, in those urban areas also. Yeah. And so it gives, uh, there's a lot of aspiration in those areas and then there's a lot of underserved in those areas too. So hopefully yeah. this will, Good. this will help connect the dots between, man, I see all this health around me and I've never had access to it before. And ho- so hopefully it'll, it'll be one of the spots that can be like a matchstick, like we light it and it, it, it would yeah. take off the best. Those are also some of the sets that already perform as a percentage of what they contribute to the box in the categories that we have, health and wellness, vitamins, supplements, those types of things, they already perform pretty well. So I also didn't want to put you guys in stores. That <laughs> Some dead store. Well, in yeah. Northern There's Canada. No d- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it's not selling. There's was like seven yeah. people in this town. <laughs> it's next door to Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. But don't worry, guys. Yeah. You'd only have to ship to one location. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shipping is going to take you three yeah. months. Um, right, man. Well, I'm so amped for this. Yeah. Uh, everybody that's li- listening at home, it's uh, I think I got them almost memorized now. But Chula Vista, we have three locations, National City and San Diego. Uh, there's one in Orange County. We're all over Palm Springs, which is awesome. Uh, I think it's like the Riverdale County, maybe. And then mm-hmm. four or five of them in Vegas. In Vegas, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fired awesome. up. You're rad. Uh, we also have three training programs. We have like a fat loss one. We have a cardio one and a strength muscle building one yeah. um, the only one you need a gym for is is the strength training program of course the other ones are all 30 minutes or less mostly cardio and body weight movements uh, so they're they're very accessible whether you have a gym or not yeah. or buy your equipment at walmart along there with it you do that too there yeah. it is uh where can people find you man are you accessible on the internet I, hold hold the phone i'm going to answer this right now matt musgrave has an instagram account he may tell you about it but that is not the place to find him the place to find him <laughs> is on TikTok. No, no, oh. no. You're a TikToker. The place to find <laughs> him is on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. Hardcore TikToker. Oh. Are you really? Look at the embarrassment oh, right man. now. It's not embarrassing at all. Uh, TikTok. Is that, just that is you rapping and, and uh, all no, that. I haven't. I haven't. No, it's used all it. training videos. I haven't used it for uh, like uh, two two months probably. But uh, it's so good. But I got I, suggested account the other day. I started. Uh, I started. Anyways, it was basically like. Nobody's on here that I know, <laughs> so I can use this Until as you my. Get called out on Marvel can, Strike. <laughs> now they know. It's, you're done. You're done. It was. I can use this as my video log for my training protocol, and I can see how yeah. I, how I how I look, how I, and I can speed stuff up. So it's like super easy. Anyways, yeah. I realized very quickly because I didn't know what TikTok was. I realized very quickly that that is not the format of what most people do on TikTok. <sighs> so I. Can, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. So, uh, That's a rabbit hole too. That is a rabbit hole. So, uh, <laughs> I went down there and got out of it. I was yeah. like, no. So uh, did did that for a hot minute. I do I do have an Instagram, but um, mostly not not. I, I really like having real conversations. <laughs> yeah, totally. And, and not that those platforms can't facilitate that, but um, but most most of the time, most people that I reach out to that I talk to are actually through LinkedIn. Yeah. So they'll find oh. me on LinkedIn. Um, whether it's whether it's for health advice or nutrition advice or some, you know, I've not that I'm a training 
guru at all, but I've done some, some tried to help a few people out with that, those types of things um, on that platform. And Instagram is definitely more my like personal family. Yeah, uh, I like I like LinkedIn too. So yeah. 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 Um, you're a garage gym guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, what's what's your training Man, like these days? I say let's, I'm a garage. I it. say I'm a garage gym guy. Um, I owe all my training knowledge to to <laughs> to listening to you guys, and then also uh, starting out in cr- in the CrossFit world, like the yeah. CrossFit Salem Springs guy that that Mike Mike Sproul that we that I went to the first time. He had broken his back, and but he was all about like, I mean, he was he was the best. He was super one on one, hands on. Taught me all the things. Made w- lifting weights not intimidating at all taught me how to overhead squat taught me how to front squat taught me how to position my feet how to press how to do ring muscle ups yeah. how to turkish get ups like we did we did all all the stuff there um so i i i have such respect for the that that type of thing and then also crossfit northwest arkansas went there lee kelly and 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 so that was my background so i have yeah. such huge respect I wouldn't wouldn't be able to do the garage gym thing. We're all cross if I, gym guys. If man. I hadn't spent that time, yeah. but like mm-hmm. I say that because I like I never thought that that would be my story. I never thought I'd be able to be a garage gym guy because I didn't know anything about lifting weights yeah. and all that. So like, but now, yeah, I, I love uh, I love cutting it up in my garage. If you really so, want to get yeah. after it, you can watch me and you duke it out. Yeah, we remember when I we do did remember. our yeah. yeah, dude, we worked out on Zoom together. You, we yeah. did it live. Oh, I remember mean, telling you about and, that. Yeah. And he <laughs> went out to go catch it. Was it clean? The snatch. Snatch. He goes, I think I hurt my back. And I was like, oh, no. We killed him on day one. Oh, this is man. so bad. We're fired. <laughs> but, then, but then we did another one. And you had me do these uh, plate lat flies. Yeah. And I'd never done that before. We had, oh, that was easy. sore. Us. My, oh, that Dude, was we so we him, sore. We got him jacked on some. I uh, was so sore. Just some straight up bodybuilding <laughs> the next I had time. 15 we did pound it, plates, and by the end of it, I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I, was, I, I love was barely my, getting it. That's why I can't wait to hang out with these guys. Tomorrow <laughs> right morning, we're getting a huge pump. <laughs> Get my jack on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I've been doing Imam Aesthetics. That's what I've been yeah. doing. That's what I've been doing lately. That's um, very similar, I think, to the programs. Some the some of the programs that are coming in, right? A little bit shorter. Um, not for the structure's not the same as the Walmart programs. They're, they're a little more traditional than than Metconi. Yeah. Um, but the the mm. time domain, yeah. The the programs uh, for cardio and fat loss is thirty minutes or less. For the strength training ones, a little yeah. bit longer. But yeah, Imam Aesthetics is is twenty minutes. Like yeah. once you're warmed up, it's, it's twenty minutes. You're in and out. Metconi, he said. Metconi. Metconi. That's yeah. a good verb. But my uh, my lifetime goal is to be in the one ton club. That's my. Lifetime he needs a coach. Goal. Yep. Look, at you, coaches. Coaches. Yeah. Hey, Look at you, coach. Look at you, coach. I got, I got time. So I'm, I'm I don't need to hit good. it in the next year. Next, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm in it for the long. You still haul. got four years of eligibility. You want to move to North Carolina? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got when a college. Ryan University. Go yeah, need a way it's to, beautiful. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. uh, you've got a room too now. We just bought a house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. move in. Bring yeah. the whole. You ready for three kids? Yeah. <laughs> Scratch that. My wife three. Scratch that. I got three kids. Six of them in the house. I actually got two. Our our third is due November fifteenth. So. Right on. Third girl on the third. Third, third girl. girl. Third girl. Jesus. God hates you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited. I love little, my uh, little awesome. girl. Like runs the show at my yeah. yeah. Whatever she wants. Yep. You're I don't think I'm ever going to spank her. I'm confused. I don't. Know. It's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> so, or punish her for anyone. I can't wait. Spanking. You're gonna be. You're gonna be old enough. <laughs> In 10 years, no, it'll be like 14 years, she's going to bring home like a prom date. Yeah. You'll be in the garage just front squatting 500. Honestly, that is the only reason I continue to train is that moment (laughs) right there. That's That's why I still work out. I'm in the same boat. Yeah. I'm in the same boat. I'm like, I'm not very good at shooting, so there's not much of a chance of that happening. But yeah. if I can say, well, let's, let's just go front squat. Let's I'm going to have a little bit of squat. both. I'm going to be cleaning my gun and flexing <laughs> at the same time. But you're going to get both guns. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this got serious. This conversation turned That's serious. Right. Yeah. Right. Travis Mash, where, they can find, where can they find you? MashElite.com or LinkedIn. We'll be yeah. LinkedIn buddies. Yeah. There it is. Doug Larson. Bet. Find me on Instagram. Maybe, maybe now that we're traveling again, I'll start posting again. I, I took a hiatus so for exciting. the last six months just hanging out with my kids all day long, yeah. lifting weights in my garage. Your life is so Instagram worthy when we're like babysitting, <laughs> sort of working, riding bikes. trying, just, just riding yeah. bikes and yeah. playing, playing on playgrounds. <laughs> yeah, that's my day most of the time. <laughs> I'm Anders Varner at Anders Varner. We're Barbell Shrugged. Get over to barbellshrugged.com forward slash store for all the programs, ebooks, nutrition, mobility, and if you're in San Diego, LA, or Vegas, or in Palm Springs, get over to Walmart right now. We've got three programs on the shelves: fat loss, cardio, and strength training. You can get it. 
Come hang out with us. We're excited about this. Very. Walmart.com as well. We'll see you guys next week.